Hello, my name is Angelique Taylor. I'm a visiting research scientist at Meta Reality Labs, a postdoctoral researcher at UC San Diego, and I'm an incoming assistant professor at Cornell University starting this summer. My research explores how to design robots that can work in teams with groups of people. To achieve this goal, we have developed a robot perception system called Regroup, which enables robots to detect and track groups of people in real world human-centered environments. There are several reasons why group perception is important to enable human-robot teaming. Humans are social, and they often interact in groups in real-world settings. By understanding social relationships between people, robots can better predict people's motion trajectories and gain contextual information about the environment, for example, when it's appropriate to enter or exit interaction with people. However, it's challenging for robots to interact with multiple people in an automated way. For example, people are unpredictable and sometimes behave in unexpected ways. For example, consider this environment recorded from an egocentric RGBD sensor mounted on a mobile robot. As you can see, this is a pretty challenging space. Ro the robot is in motion, people are in motion, and people have dynamic and chaotic motion trajectories. As such, we make no assumptions about prior knowledge, but instead use intuition about how we as humans identify groups as a driving factor for our system design. In particular, we were curious. How can we solve perception problems in everyday environments where we cannot rely on overhead cameras nor a priori knowledge and must solve these problems on board a mobile robot with limited computational resources? We were particularly interested in egocentric or first person perspective methods for mobile robots that can perform unsupervised in real world environments. We address this problem by exploring two research questions. First, how can a robot track groups of people from an egocentric perspective on a mobile platform in crowded environments where people are in motion and the robot is in motion? And then how can we use person re-identification convolutional networks to address the group data association problem? We built Regroup, an egocentric group detection and tracking system that runs in real time. This is a high level overview of, of how the system works. The goal of the group tracker is to preserve the identity of groups of people over time. It takes this input RGBD image data or, vi or video stream, and it outputs a group track ID for each pedestrian in the scene. Unlike prior methods that require multiple sensors and high computational resources, our system enables robots to detect and track groups in real time from a mobile platform using a single RGBD sensor. And so now I'll discuss the technical details of each step. The first thing Regroup needs to do is to detect pedestrians in the scene. Rather than reinvent the wheel, we employ YOLO, which provides real-time performance on a GPU. We divide the image into a grid, which generates a class probability map and bounding boxes with class confidences. Then we perform regression on this data to infer the bounding box coordinates of people in the scene. Regroup tracks pedestrians using common filtering. It uses two distance metrics, which represent distances in terms of motion and appearance, and then we combine them using a weighted sum of the two. The intuition here is that people's appearance does not change much from one time step to the next. Therefore, by leveraging, by leveraging appearance features from person re-identification convolutional networks, we can use this as a distance metric to re-identify people for the data association problem. Now I'll talk about our new egocentric group detection system. Our goal is for the system to be deployed on a mobile robot from its onboard sensor. Thus, the group detection system uses three distance metrics, which characterize groups, particularly for egocentric perspective sensing applications. We construct three ad adjacency matrices, DW, DH, and DGP, to capture whether two pedestrians are in the same group. These matrices capture the height ratio, ground plane distance, and width of pedestrians, respectively. We apply thresholds beta, alpha, and kappa to these matrices to exclude group candidates with pedestrians that are not physically close to each other. Where beta is the mean width of two pedestrians' bounding boxes, alpha is a number that ranges from 0 to 1 and is the height ratio between two pedestrians, and kappa is a number that ranges from 1 to the, the height of the image, and this is the ground plane distance in pixels between two pedestrians. We determine alpha and kappa through experimentation, and we aggregate the distance matri matri matrices into a single ad adjacency, matrix, adjacency matrix, which identifies group candidates. And the final step, we use defer search on this matrix to find cycles, where cycles indicate groups. 
A novel strand of regroup is that it introduces a new way to perform group re-ID to address the group data association problem. Regroup generates group appearance descriptors by merging pedestrians' appearance descriptors. We employ the Hungarian algorithm to address the assignment problem for group detections and tracks, followed by common filtering to track groups over time. One challenge that we encounter while the developing regroup is that the distance metrics often converge to zero for short periods of time when multiple groups pass each other. To address this challenge, we develop a new method called a crowd indication feature to detect the situation by using past track states to preserve group track IDs over time. For example, the left image shows an example of regroup detecting no crowd, and the right image shows an example of a crowd being detected. For more details on how this works, please see our paper. To test regroup, we collected a large-scale RGB dataset to evaluate regroup, which shows a crowded, sunny outdoor environment. This resulted in many computer vision challenges, such as occlusion, shadow, and very lighting illuminations, which is great because this is what we want to test against. We mounted a Z stereo vision sensor on a double telepresence robot and let the robot roam around a large public park. We annotated the data set and validated our annotations consistent with popular computer vision benchmarks. Here's a demonstration of regroup running on a mobile robot in, in a park. The red boxes show individual pedestrian detections and groups are identified with the same color bounding box and track ID. Even with camera ego motion, we can see that regroups perform pretty well. In order to experimentally validate regroups group detection method, we compare it to four state-of-the-art methods, including Spencer by Leonard et al. and Cuts by Shi and Malik, self-tuning spectral clustering by Zel Zelnick Manor and Pernoma, and RoboGem, the prior version of our system. We evaluated these methods using standard metrics from the pedestrian detection literature, including precision and recall versus intersection over union, or IOU. And for those not familiar, IOU measures the overlap between two bounding bosses, where an IOU of zero means the bosses don't overlap at all, and an IOU of one means that the bounding bosses overlap perfectly. The standard IOU is 0.5 in computer vision, in which case identifies a correct detection. This figure shows the group detection results. Overall, regroup outperformed all other methods in group detection by up to 40% in terms of precision and up to 18% in terms of recall. Self-tuning special clustering out, outperformed Spencer and Spencer outperformed N plus plus K in terms of precision. Overall, all methods outperform RoboGen. In order to experimentally validate regroup's group tracking method, we compared it to three state-of-the-art methods, including Spencer by Leonard et al. and Group LSTM and Group LSTM Obstacle by Bizago et al. We evaluated the group tracking methods using standard classification of events, activities, and relationships, or CLEAR metrics, which are standard metrics from the, from the multi-object tracking literature. We report a more comprehensive list of metrics in the paper, but we will summarize here for the sake of time. We report the multiple object tracking accuracy, which combines false positives, false negatives, and ID switches between tracks. And, and we compute the multiple object tracking precision, which is the misalignment in bounding bosses between ground truth and predict predicted tracks. Overall, these metrics measure the accuracy of tracking methods and their ability to track long term. Overall, regroup outperformed all comparative methods and group tracking by up to 66% in terms of tracking accuracy and up to 20% in terms of tracking precision. Now we can start thinking about human robot teaming in situations where there are distributed teams in the same environment. For instance, applications in manufacturing, healthcare, and autonomous vehicles can use regroup to track groups to enable more safe and socially aware robots. In the future, we're excited to continue building upon regroup and deploying it in conjunction with navigation systems to enable real-time human robot teaming. There are several contributions of this work. First, we introduce a new semi-supervised egocentric group detection and tracking system called Regroup. We show that Regroup outperformed three group detection methods and three state-of-the-art group tracking methods. And we show that Regroup is robust to real-world vision challenges such as occlusion, camera ego motion, shadow on varying lighting illuminations. And we also show that Regroup can run in real time on real-world data. I would like to give a special thanks to my collaborators and those that have supported my research. For those interested in deploying Regroup on their own robot, our code is available on GitHub.
Thank you.